here we are at the global drive for the brand new Defender 130. Now the Defender 130 is the largest wheelbase in the Defender family. Of course, you have the 90, the 110 and the 130. Now the 130 gives you about 34 centimeters more of space. That means the chassis is longer and we've got them lined up nice and neatly here right outside the Bab El Shams Hotel about to take them through their paces on a lovely desert drive. Now I have gone and chosen the white one right over here because it's just a rather warm day today and that's what I'd like to do. We're going to go out into the desert. We're going to first try them on the tarmac and then deflate the tires and try the, deer, uh, the, uh, the different kind of terrain responses that these wonderful vehicles have and see how they hold up right out in the desert. Now let's have a little look inside the 130 because of course the 130 is a three row eight seater, which means it packs a lot more space. Now, once you go in, you see the front row here, the second row here. And then once we move this, the third row to the back. Now the third row is rather comfortable as well. Uh, eight people can sit here in comfort. And very interestingly, all of these seats have heated and cooled seats, which is a great option. You don't get that a lot in many of these larger SUVs. And then let's go back to the back of the car. Let's open this up. And over here, of course, boot space isn't as large as one would hope because there's a th third row of seats. However, you can do something rather clever. You can actually lift the car up and down from here. You see, when you press this, the car is literally going down for ease of access. And then again, by pressing this, the car is rising, which is a very, very clever option. And then let's take a little side view of the 130 looking extremely sharp, extremely beautiful. And you have those beautiful 20 inch alloys there as well, making it wonderful. And of course, around you can see the world's media creating their content all around. Well, before we begin, let me show you the different kind of terrain responses that you have. So you have this button right here. And then once you press it, they will all come up here, the different modes, the modes that you can select. And you can select these by, let's do that again. As with many Land Rovers and Range Rovers, you see you have the comfort mode, you have the grass and gravel snow, then you have the mud ruts, you have the sand, you have the rock crawl, and you have the wade. The wade feature is when the car is submerged into the water. Now here you have the 11.6 inch screen, which is rather nice and responsive. It is the new um, infotainment and information screen that you get. So you have all sorts of different things here from compass to navigation, different kind of apps, so on and so forth. I've got the camera here. The interior is just as one would expect from a Defender. Looks rather refined, but actually is nice and rugged, if you ask me, with these exposed bits here, looking rather nice. Now, first part of the drive, we're on tarmac, and driving this car on the tarmac is just like driving a Range Rover on tarmac. Now, I don't want to over-exaggerate, but it is very smooth, it is very comfortable, they are, uh, there are no noticeable bumps in the road. Of course, I have the, um, the terrain mode in comfort, which is one of the two road modes that you have in the Defender. There's an eco mode and then there's the comfort mode. So driving this car in comfort mode is just like driving a luxury SUV and with some great, great scenery as well. First up, we're trying the grass and gravel mode in some light off-roading 
condition. So the sand isn't too deep, but there are some rocks. There is slight gravel here. So we're gonna see how the car, um, well, how the wonderful Defender works out here. Now we have sand mode engaged and the car is more than capable. We haven't even deflated the tires and yet the Defender 130 is managing. Just coming up here and over the top. Again, just, uh, you'll need a little bit of momentum just to get up, and then we can um, slowly come down the other side. <laughs> uh, I seem to have uh, beached myself here. Okay, boys, just stay where you are. We'll just come back to you. Just stay where you are, cars behind. Just wait, okay? Okay, no worries. We'll come to you. We'll get you to get yourself out. Sure, roger that. And legs, we go. And turn. This way. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, you're going to turn, turn down. down. Don't, don't come, come off, off the power. Just keep going, going, going. 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 Don't gently, push it too much. Gently, gently, gently. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Gently, keep going, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. special day indeed because today was the day I got to drive the beautifully crafted Land Rover Defender 130 and despite my rather novice attempts to conquer the Dubai sands the wonderfully capable 4x4 got me out of those sand pits and proved that it is just as capable on gravel and wonderfully smooth on the tarmac well if I was to give you my two cents it is a masterpiece. It is a machinery that can conquer any harsh environment and give you the comfort of the most luxurious cars on the motorway. It is quite simply one of the best 4x4s I've had the pleasure of driving till now.